Okay. Yeah. There you go. Got your finger away from the lens? Yes. We had six of these, and we didn't know what to do with them on the train. We are supposed to put them in some machine. didn't work. So a lady got on, took us down to the machine. Somehow one of these disappeared. <laughs> so we have to buy another ticket. Or one of us isn't going home. <laughs> This is our exciting view of the outside of the train as we go across the countryside. The lady sat down near us and we think she got off the plane. Left this bag. I mean train. Left this bag. We're hoping there's just clothes in there. If you never see this video, you'll know what happened. Some Italians are pretty buff. I could take them. We're hoping that our day in Pisa, we kind of blend in and no one recognizes us as tourists. And here we've arrived, the Leaning Tower of Pisa. No, wait a second, that's not it. Ah, oh, there it is. Wow. I don't know. It, it's not leaning too much. It's not leaning. What's the matter? It's hexa hexagonal in shape and the six beautifully sculptured panels depict the life and death of Christ. So that's the baptistry. So cliche, so cliche. From this side, you can really see the lean. Some people might wonder how the Tower of Pisa became the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Some say there was clay underneath it when it was built. However, that's a misconception. The truth is, there was a family of gophers that lived on this side of the building underneath it, and that's what caused it to lean. A little bit of digging on their part. Thanks, gophers. This is a line to climb to the top of the tower. We figured, you know, we just climb to the top, no big deal. But then we discover there's this stern security guard. She says, 22 euros, or maybe it was $22. We weren't sure if it was worth doing. So in this video, if you see us from the top, you'll know that we paid the money. Guess what? They have Coke in Italy. What happens is once a year, they decide to clean it, so they lower it to the ground. So we get to the Tower of Pisa and we decide to take a helicopter ride up, splitting the cost amongst the group. Really cool. Everyone should see it from this angle. We must be thousands of feet up. Take a look. This is really cool. All right, we're two now. Okay, so we're in the museum. We can't be very loud. Right here is something that used to be really neat. Whoa, thank goodness for regular English. It appears that the Bible might have omitted something. Maybe it wasn't just Lot's wife that looked back. Whoop! It's a pretty cool museum, but we're not really sure which way we should go. Oh, this guy is one cool dude. Not flinching, even with this guy on his chest. Here's a huge plate. It must be two feet in diameter. Now, if they had these plates at Golden Corral, yeah, I'd only have to make one trip. If I didn't see it for myself, I would not believe it. But even fine art, statues like this, can be fixed with duct tape. Toward the end of the museum, we came across some artwork that was kind of confusing. Hold on a second. Oh, never mind. Cost uh, $22, close to $22 to climb to the top of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. And as I look at all those people up there, imagining the pain in their legs, the cramps, the heavy breathing, I think they have to pay us to go up there. So in part of the museum, we came across some kind of a collection of robes that are made out of silk and gold. I think, uh, over here's another one. I think Raylene would like to have one of these, but we're going to wait till they go on sale at TJ Maxx. This robe is for the, I guess you call them the husky sized people. And here's our group, all tuckered out and tired and sitting down except for one trooper. Italians have really big dogs. <laughs> 